What's going on guys? Before we start, I want to make sure you guys go over and follow me on Twitter. Links in the description for that. Let's try to get to 10,000 followers. I only have 7,000 right now. It's kind of pathetic. Since there's 177,000 of you guys here on YouTube, let's try to get some more people over on Twitter. So if you don't have a Twitter, make a Twitter. If you do have a Twitter, follow me up. Either way, you got to follow me. And let's get into the story. So this is a story from a couple years ago. My first job I actually had was at a deli slash snack stand. So basically my friend and I, his name's Jared. We both work there. We're the same height. We're the same age. Uh, and we worked there with this, uh, our boss, who is actually this chick. And her name is Ashley. She's a redhead. She's about 23 at the time. We're about 17 at the time. She's a little older than us. And uh, basically, we just made some sandwiches, you know, some snacks and stuff, some salads, different kinds of things that people would like just to eat for a little bite before dinner or in between uh, meals and stuff like that. So one week, we're having this special deal where they have this special salad. It's like some chicken and tuna salad or something. I don't even know what it was. It was some kind of special entree that we were trying to sell, trying to promote. And my boss, the girl, Ashley, Ashley, she said she was going to reward us for whoever sold more of this actual uh, entree. So Jared and I are both all hyped up. You know, whoever sells more is going to get this special prize. We don't know what it is yet. And uh, we're going along. We're trying to sell it as much as we can. We're really promoting it. Everybody that comes in the store, hey, we got this new entree. Do you want to buy it? So how about the week Ashley decides to tell us what the prize is to get us really going? And she said that the prize is going to be uh, whoever sells more of this special during that week is going to get flashed by her. So we're just like, oh, damn, son, we're going to get boobies. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I mean, come on, we're 17. There's 23 year olds gonna flash us. She's not that good looking, I'll be honest with you. She was all right looking. She had decent sized boobs, but whatever. It's boobs. You got to see free boobs. I mean, winner gets free boobs. That's pretty simple, right? And being teenage boys, you know, of course we're gonna want to win. So Jared and I are both going ham at this. You know, we're trying to sell this thing everywhere. We're walking around outside cleaning up dishes. Hey, do you want to try this new entree we had? But then we got to decided to get smart. We're like, you know what? We're pretty even right now. I both have about seven or eight sales so far this week. We're about halfway through the week. Why don't we do something really smart? So we got together and we both decided that if we get exactly the same amount of uh, entrees sold in the week, then she'll have to give both of us the prize. She'll have to flash both of us. So Jared and I are trying to plan this out so we both get exactly the right amount. And meanwhile, I'm thinking, you know what? If I decide to say I'm going to go for a tie with him and just get the win, then I'll get to see her boobs and nobody else will. And I'll be like, yeah. But I decided to be fair. We're friends. We've been friends for a while. And I was like, all right, let's go for the tie. I'm not going to pull any fast ones on you or anything like that. Let's honestly try to tie and then we'll both get this prize of the boobies. So the week goes on and you know, we're both trying to keep even. We both sell about the same amount. And the end of the week comes and we both have like 13 entrees sold, exactly tied. And Ashley goes, well, you guys both tied. So I guess I can't give either of you the prize. No, nope, no, nope, that is not what you said. Winner gets the prize. We tied, we both won. We both get to see your boobs. Let's go right now. So she takes us out back and she flashed us and we saw her boobs, which is kind of, you might think it's a little weird. I mean, it's your boss and all, but she was pretty cool until she fired me the next week. You know what? Screw it. I'll tell you the story now since I've been slacking so much in these college series. So the next week after I see her boobs, right? After all, like, yeah, this is the best job ever. She's the coolest boss ever. She's got nice tits. We saw her tits. Ha ha ha. I'm walking to, this, to work one day, right? There's like a little container of straws. She asked me to get some straws out to refill it. And I was like, Ashley, I don't know where the straws are. You've never told me where the straws are before. Are you serious right now? Flipping out on me how I didn't know where the straws were. I didn't know where the, the refilling of the straws were, the box of straws were. And I was like, what do you, what? I've been working here for a couple weeks now and you've never told me where they are. Why are you flipping out of me. I don't know where they are. And she's like, you know what? Fuck it. Screw it. You're out. You're out. Leave. Go. Peace. You're fired. I was like, <laughs> what did I do wrong? I didn't know where the straws were. How do you want to buy? And I remember that time I didn't have a car and my moped was actually at my house. I usually drive my moped to, to work, but my mom had driven me to work that day. So I didn't even have a ride home. Shit. I'm stuck like 20 minutes away from my house. Don't have a ride home. I just got fired. I didn't even know why. I didn't know where the straws were. It's not my fault. So I called my friend AJ. I was like, yo, AJ. Yo, what's up? Nah, not at all like that. Yo, what's up? Yo, I got fired. You want to come pick me up? Yeah, dude. But all I got is my moped. Well, I guess I'm sitting on the back of your moped. Uh, I don't know if it's going to fit two of us. It's only supposed to have one person, but f it, I'm coming. That's my boy. I'll see you soon. So AJ comes and picks me up and he drives me back to my house, uh, which is about 20 minutes away, which is really nice of him. But you got to realize that this moped is small. It's not like a two person moped. It's just barely fits one person if you're a small guy. So it was really pushing it. I was like sitting on the back trying to hold on and you know? I was like, oh, good. But that was that. That's how I got fired from my first job. That's how I got to see my bo boss's tits on the first job. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy, leave a like. You know what? If we can get the 3,000 likes, I'm going to put up another video uh, that has another really
really questionable story that I probably shouldn't tell you guys soon on a college series video. So go for it and like the video. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, guys. I'm trying to get to 10,000 followers, which is not even that much compared to you guys over here on YouTube. You guys are awesome on YouTube. Go be awesome on my Twitter. Links in the description. Please follow me like crazy, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace out.